Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hoppery Short. I believe this is number three already, but tonight I was sitting here drinking a beer and I thought, you know, I'd really like to share this with you all. Um, this is a beer that comes from uh, Belgium. It comes from Brasserie Dachouf. Um, and this is kind of a hybrid beer. It's a uh, part triple, well it is a triple, um, but it's been hopped up a lot, so they call it a IPA triple. And, uh, you know, I've had this once before a long time ago and sat down to drink one of these tonight. In fact, I opened it and I'll tell you, this thing is just, it's alive. I don't know if you can see on camera. Hopefully you can. Uh, lots of effervescence in the bottle. Um, if you look right there, you can see, you know, lots of little pieces of sediment. Now, before you write in and say, hey, dude, stop, you know, shaking the hell out of your bottles. I'm telling you, I hardly touched this bottle at all. As soon as I popped the top on it and all that carbonation started pulling to the top of the bottle, it uh, immediately started to uh, pull up all of that sediment. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this one so you guys can take a look at the color. Um, now, of course, again, on camera, this is gonna look a lot darker um, than it really is. In fact, if you look right down here in the corner where the light is, that'll give you a really good idea um, of really how pale this is, but it'll also give you an idea of how much um, sediment there is in this. So that bottle conditioning, while probably good on some, in some ways, um, really kind of affects the, um, the overall appearance. Not in a bad way, but you know, you just kind of hope that your um, beers come out, you know, clear without that sediment until you get down to the bottom of it. And it's a preference too. I know some people like that, but anyway, you can see that there's a really good, um, you know, soft, pillowy, soapy white head on the top of it. I'm going to go ahead and smell it too. So really guys, this smells exactly like you would hope it smells. It really has that Belgian character from the triple component of it. Um, you know, so that Belgian yeast, that sort of banana bread, clove component that's, you know, ever present in these types of beers. Um, but you do get a really nice amount of hoppiness. Um, it's a really nice clean hoppiness as well. Uh, it's not that European, you know, kind of grassy, uh, you know, I, I guess herbal fl uh, aroma. This really has a nice clean somewhat citrusy aroma, but this is nowhere near the smell of the uh, American IPA. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and taste it. Mm. Wow. That's very good. And I don't know if you can see the uh, bottle on that one. It's kind of dark in here tonight, but you can see it says Dublin IPA triple. Uh, the Petit Hublon, and anyway, this is only in a 11.2 ounce bottle, clocks in right at 9%, but really enjoyable beer. It's got a nice spiciness, but those hops really shine through, and that's one of the things that I like. You know, I'm a big fan of triples. Uh, in fact, I will be focusing on triples coming up here in the next week or two. Uh, but it's really got that nice bitterness from the hops as well that I really, really like. So I would say this is a very, very enjoyable beer if you can find it, which I think probably most of you can. Um, definitely pull one of these and uh, stick it in your fridge and save it for a really nice day like we're having here. So, well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Hoppery Short. My name is Mark Starr, and we'll see you later. Cheers.